Hello everyone, this is Mr. John from AK Dragfish 3D and today we are talking about fishing adventure reconnaissance. So this will be a multi-part video series involving um, me doing fishing adventure reconnaissance using the internet and other resources to, to maximize opportunity to go fishing and adventuring and hiking and enjoying the great outdoors. So with that said, we'll go into the first part about it. The first part would be to check your local fish and game site future videos will involve using google maps uh, gis data uh, social medias to, to gather more information about your location your chosen location that you plan on going to and then also doing prep work planning out how long you're going to go what gear you're going to take and so on and so forth but for this video we are going to talk about fish and game sites because there's a lot of data on these sites with that said let's bring up Alaska Fishing Game Site. So here we are at the Alaska Fishing Game Site. This is adfg.alaska.gov. And there's a lot of things here to, to talk about, to highlight. Namely, some things I'll point out, uh, fishing, hunting, or subsistence, because a subsistence hunting, subsistence fishing, a subsistence way of life is part of Alaska. And there's education, places in Alaska that are wildlife sanctuaries. Uh, the species that we have, we are not immune to invasive species. There, there's invasive, invasive species that cross regions where it's perfectly local in one region, but otherwise invasive in others. The primary example I can give in Alaska is pike. Northern pike are non-invasive. They're native fish. So north of the city of Cantwell, they are native. But once you go Matsu Valley, Anchorage, Kenai, etc., they are no longer native. They are invasive down there. Uh, some things you should know, things that can help you. So we're just gonna go, we're just gonna click the fishing one and go into the fishing. Things to be aware of. Obviously you've got regulations, you've got emergency orders. Alaska is all about counting fish or salmon counts, how many silvers, how many reds, how many, etc. You can get your license online. Alaska offers an app on the phone that you can have your license there. Alaska is also very veteran friendly. I will just simply flash it. So if you are a disabled veteran, Alaska also offers a permit license. You get a permit license, you get a little card, keep on you. I think regular veterans can get a, a hefty discount as well. For now, we'll dive into sport. Uh, if you're interested in subsistence fishing, subsistence fishing, personal use fishing is there. This video, we're going to dive into sport fishing and the hatcheries. The hatcheries being stocked lakes and where they put the fish. With that said, here's the sports fishery thing. You got some, some news. Here is the app in question, emergency orders. There is We Fish Alaska. This is um, a social media webpage that ADFG runs. I'm not sure if other states run theirs. Check your local state, uh, trophy fish program, kids fishing, so on and so forth. Fishing information. This is where we're gonna find our regulations. The regulations break down by area. And then we can, we can drill down even further. I live in the Tanana River drainage. So fishing information, popular fishing spaces. Access is important because every state has access different. I'm gonna say that again. I'm, 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 I'm come closer to the video camera here. Every state has different water access regulations. Make sure you understand these. You can find a lot of these um, when you do your Google Maps search. You can compare this to Google Maps. So we're gonna come back to fishing information and then we're gonna look at regulations real quick. So our regulations break down by region. Tenno River drainage is where I live. So we'll just go ahead and bring this up real quick. And so it's clear cut. It, you can download this. I can download this as a PDF, put it on my phone. It covers what fish, where, the regulations, what you can catch. Uh, I would recommend checking your local fishing game or whatever regulations that you have. All right, so let's talk about other information outside of regulations that fishing game sites can give you. And most of them are going to be databases of some sort. So this is a GIS fed database and there's all our lakes and so we're just going to zoom in on Fairbanks here and just about every single one of these little dots is some variation of fishing opportunity uh, this being uh, Chena Hot Springs Road right here this being the lower Chattanooga and the upper Chattanooga this being Fairbanks it's Fairbanks proper itself North Pole I've covered this in other videos before. For example, Tanana Lakes is right here. 
and if you just click on the little dot it will bring up the data the data of this lake Lat latitude longitude for the sake of navigational points characteristics of the lake the, the valley metrics of the lake there's some pictures of the area namely fish data and the most important one of all stocking data so you can find pinpoint data i'm not sure if your your county city state website has stuff like this but that is one way to check your your lake data and then adfg also has a stocking search database. I do this in the springs and summers. It's a database once again. So we'll go Fairbanks, we'll go all species, then we'll put it in a date range. So we'll say, how about from nine one zero two three to today, where in Fairbanks has been stocked. And it gives you a, a list, a database list, and then you go from there. So. That's a breakdown of, of a fishing game website. Um, I'm using Alaska as an example. Some are better than others. Be patient with your website. And there's a plethora of knowledge inside your fishing game website. Uh, I encourage everyone to, everyone that goes out and fishes their areas or hunts their areas or traps their areas or, or whatnot to at least familiarize yourself with your local fishing game website whether that's uh city county state that's set a region uh it's just a plethora of knowledge and if you happen to find yourself in alaska happen to want to go enjoy the great outdoors use this use the alaska department of fishing game website it's going to point you in the right direction and if it doesn't point you in the right direction Reach out to me and I'll point you in the right direction. So, on behalf of AK Drag Fish 3D, myself, my sidekicks, and the great state of Alaska, thank you for watching.